Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my art space. I just want to thank you for being here. So yesterday, I actually built this journal uh, from this similar box. And what happened was I filmed it and everything and I wasn't real happy because I did it at night time and it was too dark and I decided I'm going to actually uh, do another video this morning when it's brighter and lighter and it's just so much better. So what, what inspired me to, I guess, uh, attempt a journal and you know that I haven't actually done one apart from a signature or two uh, and haven't done a hardcover one like this is because it seemed really daunting but you know what I thought when I saw this box I decided that it is small enough for me to attempt this project and I was going to give it a go and it doesn't matter if it didn't turn out because remember it's all about exploring and experimenting so I, when I saw this box, I thought, you know, I, I would like some inspiration. So I watched a few videos and I decided, well, it's enough watching. It is about time I start doing. And that's what I did. Uh, unfortunately, that video that I filmed yesterday, it just wasn't right. So I'm going to do it again with you so that it is, um, uh, it, it is going to be uh, I'll show you my two journals. You can have a look at that um, that that other one that I did yesterday uh, later on. But I'll show you the process of how to build a journal. So um, let me just go and get some supplies. So I've decided to open the packet up like that. So there's um, there's a way when you open it up, right? So see how that part is glued? When you open it up, you want to use this part as the spine. And I've decided to use this. This is Daphne diary, Daphne's diary. Uh, um, uh, it's actually the cover of the magazine. I've decided to use this um, like that as a cover. So I'm going to go ahead uh, currently to cut this part here and I'm just going to cut it out. I know you're wondering there's a hole here. I wouldn't worry about it. So I'm going to cut this part too because we don't need that. Because that hole is going to be covered by the cover itself, so it doesn't matter. Now, the other journal that I did last night, it wasn't the cover of the magazine. It was just one of the magazine pages. So, um, I think you can use either. Alright, so that's... I wouldn't worry too much about whether it's straight or not because that's going to be underneath your main cover here. So that should sit there like that. And it's going to look something like that. Now what I'm going to use is I'm going to use Elma glue or... Um, if you have PVA glue, that's fine too. I think glue stick, I tried on the other journal last night. It's actually not um, uh, not as good. It's because of the cardboard and everything. You're going to have to use Elma glue. Um, the game changer for this particular journal is when I watch uh, one um, of the videos uh, by Rosie. I think it's Rosie Journal. She used this grid paper in order to position the holes. And I think that that is such a great idea. So what I'm going to do is, so what I did, if you are looking at an easy way, I know it's a bit fiddly. If you have grid paper, I'm going to have four signatures. 
and I've marked relatively uh, position where my holes are going to be so that when you actually um, use your needle to thread through you know exactly where the um, holes are. This way I found is a good way to make sure that your um, your stitching is straight and you're going into the right hole. So let me just uh, grab my scissors and I'm just going to show you uh, what we need to do here. So the needle that I'm actually um, using is just one of these. Uh, I've decided to go for the bigger uh, hole one, which is this one, and it's actually longer as you can see. So nothing fancy. I know some people use the darning needle and that's fine. And I've just opted to use just embroidery thread um, here uh, because I've got quite a lot of it instead of uh, wax um, thread. Um, if you have that, go ahead and use that, but I don't have that. I'm trying to use whatever I have from home. So I'm going to thread that and have it relatively um, long. So I'm just going to show you in a minute. Okay, I was interrupted by my dog. Sorry about that. So I actually uh, missed a step. I need, needed to glue here. I needed to glue this part. So I'm just putting some glue on the back here. And that's going to go there. And I'm going to put some glue here. Then I, I'm going to grab my clip so that I can clip that down. Hang on a sec. So we're going to continue gluing uh, this part. onto the page here. I think I haven't positioned that. I'm just going to move it a little bit so that it's fairly center. Right, and I haven't. I made a mistake here and actually glued the side, but I've just opened it up again because what I needed to do was while that glue is drying, is to cut here so we can fold the 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 um the sides. And I'm going to cut here too. And so we can fold that down. All right. So I think, I think while we wait, we might as well just put some glue here. I'm going to fold this one down first. If you have a bone folder, go ahead and use that, but I don't. So we'll just have to, I might just put something heavy to might use my clip. Um, might use some of these just to hold them in 
because I do not so with this because I'm actually using like cardboard so you know the magazine the magazine um, cover is actually quite heavy so I'm just going to leave that and that's just going to help it stay in a little bit but don't worry too much about it because even if it doesn't we're going to put something over that anyway later on so um, I will do this side and the um, the flap here as well so remember push this one down first and then this one and then this one I'm just going to clip it make sure the corners are it, as I said um, it doesn't matter if it's just a little bit short because we are going to cover it with something else I'm just doing this in order to And then I'm going to go there and there. So I'm just going to put this. So when I was doing the other journal, I didn't have to do this with the with the paper clips because that was just normal paper and it didn't need an extra help for it to stay down. Um, I think that's fine for now. All right. So while that's um drying I found this to go on the inside of the cover so what I've done is I'm just going to fold that like that and so that I know where to cut and roughly about here okay so that that's roughly where it's going to sit on the inside and I'm going, just going to cut that out so when you cut this out it has to be slightly shorter than the actual cover so that when you actually fold that in it's um, not going to stick out and I also decided to reinforce the corners with what I cut out from um, from the magazine before the cover um, because it was showing a little bit of the cardboard so I decided to modify it. Now I'm going to go ahead and just glue that on and then we can start with the holes. So I've put the glue on and I'm just pressing right in here uh, in the corner and in this corner uh, so that it will be nice and flat. in that ridge there. If you have a bone folder, obviously it will be much easier, but I don't, so we'll just modify. And we use what we have. And that's what I love about junk journaling. You know, you can modify and you can try different things because there's no rules. It's not about being perfect. It's about exploring and trying new things. So I want to let that dry and I'll come back and I'll put some holes in the, um, the cover. All right, now that it's dry, I'm going to use my needle. So I've placed the grid here on just, you know, I haven't glued it down, just place it. And I'm just going to go ahead and make holes kind of pre uh, drilling or 
pre-making the holes so if you can see at the back that's how it looks like uh, so it is nice and straight and I think Rosie um, there's some uh, other people that do their uh, journals without pre doing the holes that's fine but I know myself, I'm not going to be able to get it straight. And it's going to annoy me when the binding is a little bit wonky. And um, so I'm just using this. Actually, I can just put it down here and then press it in. Yeah, that's better. And I'm going to do the rest. And... So this is, yeah, much easier that way. And if I lift that, remove that, can you see the holes already pre-done? Oh, not that one. What happened here? Um, let's see. Didn't go through. Right. So if you can see the back, why is that not done? Hmm. Why did I do that? Oh my goodness. I'm losing my mind. Okay, let's redo that one. I might have lifted it before. Sorry, it's been a crazy morning, um, but I wanted to show you this, I wanted to do this video because um, I'm learning something new and, you know, I was actually quite fearful of actually making a journal, but having done one yesterday, I was thinking, hmm, not sure, sure why I was so afraid of it. So now that I've done that, while the um, cover was drying, I was gathering uh, pieces of paper that roughly fits, so from my stash, roughly fits this journal. As you can see, it needs to be about there. So when you're closing it, it's about there. And if it's not quite, it's okay. You can always just trim it later. And I've secured it with my um, um, paper clip. And now what I'm going to do in the same way, I'm just going to roughly position. So say that's the middle of the, roughly the middle, I'm going to pre pre-make the holes if pre-make is that even a word pre-make you know making it before all right and I've threaded this uh, so I've decided to use this color and you don't have to knot it at at the end because what you need to do is now I'm going to do the first one which is here and yeah I want that to be just seeing, actually no, because I forgot. This is the front, so I want that to be like that. I want the um, the flowers to be on top and the words on that particular one. Um, so I guess you have to see the position of your paper depending on... on. So I'm going to go there. So that's number one 
and you have to leave a little bit and that goes into here which is the middle hole and you pull it up at the end and then it goes into this one now the best way I found is to actually put the cover like that so you can see the needle and you can see where you're actually placing your needle on the paper pull that through right through yep and this needs to go back in here now this is the tricky one if you need to get it straight just pull it out a little bit as in pull it out so you can see the hole now and then you can put your needle through and then when you pull it When you pull it, it's nice and straight. It got into the hole. So that's that's a tip that I can tell you that worked for me. So down here, again, if you can't see the hole, just put it upright. And then I managed to do that so because I, I can see what's going which hole am I and then you just cut because what we're going to do is we're going to knot it so cut about here and so of course when you do your thread you need to Make sure it's long enough to tie a knot. And what I like to do is to bring that across under here, under this. Yeah. And then you tie a knot. One, two, and cut. So that's the first one in. And three more to go. I'll do another one. I think two is sufficient and, and um, to show you again the process. All right. Did I mention that in each signature? So what is a signature? That's one signature. On each signature, there are five sheets of paper. And I've uh, chosen to actually cut it up the same, cut it out the same size because they need to, they can't be different sizes because you need to make sure that the signatures um, fit that because you're going to actually put the thread through each of these three holes so now let me just do that once again so using the guide doesn't matter which hole I'm just eyeballing the fact the middle so just making sure that they're roughly in the middle right so roughly and I've threaded a new one because it needs to be long enough so pre-drill your holes because it's much easier this way Wait, hang on. I just yeah that one went in there and this one goes in here
sorry for the interruption. This is what happens when people are around. So, um, so we're going in doing to do the si second signature. So it goes through the middle hole. So that's number one. Leave a little bit. Come to number two. Hole. Now, if you can't see where the hole is for the signature, do it this way. Now you can see it. Much easier. Right? So, and this is going to go through here. And I like to... Now that I can see where the hole is, because that will ensure that it's nice and straight. Okay, and then put it through here. And then now I can see the hole on this side. That was easy. Main, the main thing is to try to find the holes in order to get it straight. But once you know the technique of finding the holes by looking on the side, you'll be fine. So, I'm just going to put this long thread around here, right? Then it's easier to tie. And then that goes in there. Do it again. And you can then cut this. And we have got a second signature. Can you see that? I'm going to do the other two and then we will decorate the front of this cover together. All right, I've um, finished. So that looks much better than that one, my first one. Can you see this one? It's a bit wonky. Yep, that was my mistake. And so I have finished and on the inside, it looks like this and you may ask how about these images if I don't like them that's fine you can just cover over it find something else that suits and cover over it and if you want space for writing just tip in some writing spots uh, put some paper uh, line paper in there pretty line paper if you if you must uh, and you can obviously add more because there's room to expand, as you can see. Um, use lots of tippins. Uh, you can, you know, feel free to go to town with what you add in your journal. So I thought we could um, finish off the cover together. I was thinking of using one of these uh, just as a contrast. Um, Maybe this time I may not use lace um, and I'll show you the other journal uh, when I'm done here. So I think I'll go ahead and glue that. Alright, I've decided to use twine. Uh, I, I think it's probably not practical when you're, you're working in the journal. But I'm currently quite happy with that so I'm just going to leave it as that. And this is how the side looks like, and this is how the back looks like. Um, and this is, I would say, 100% uh, recycled stuff. Um, and most of the bits and pieces have come from my beautiful supporter, um, Debbie. And let me show you this other one. So yesterday, I had trouble with this flower because... Obviously, I was thinking I put it up here and um, it was coming too close to the lace. So I was thinking I couldn't put any packing tape on it. 
and how that was going to go. So I decided to cut it shorter and then tape it first and then uh, so that I can slip it in here instead. Now it's going to be having issues trying to... I'll fix that up later. So I wanted to show you here, as you can see, that was wonky, as I mentioned before. And the other thing was I didn't trim these papers as um, uh, uh, a little narrower than the other one. I was going to trim it. I was going to trim the papers, but I decided instead of doing that, just to hide it a little bit to put lace on the side. And these on the inside, this is how it looks like. Again, it's very eclectic, different papers. And I haven't yet thought of really what to put in it, but I am happy the way it turned out for my first journal, handmade journal. Uh, these magazines, uh, they are quite different. The sheen is not... It's not too shiny, so you don't want to get anything too shiny, I think. And, um, yes. If I don't... So here, as you can see, I made a bit of a mistake here, but that's okay. For future, um, I did smooth it up from the middle outwards. And in order to secure the lace, I actually did staples on here. So hope you um, found this helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have done um, something like this before. Uh, you've attempted and failed or you've attempted and succeeded uh, and you're a pro at it. Uh, any other tips uh, for me is very much appreciated. Uh, thank you again for watching and I am um, grateful for everyone in the community like subscribe and comment um, and share and see you in the next video bye